The world-famous underground train network that runs deep beneath the historical streets of London is used by thousands of people every day. However, few passengers have stopped to think what was disturbed when the tunnels were dug and the long forgotten secrets that are still buried within its structure. What is known is that many plague pits were unearthed and hundreds of bodies and graves were uncovered. Is it any wonder that tales of ghostly apparitions and deathly screams are rife in the dark, soulless bellows of this vast underground network? Here are five of the many London underground stations that are reported to be haunted, and the paranormal stories that go with them. Before we begin, don't forget to check out the new Top 5's website. We have some great articles, personal stories, and also a store over there where you can buy some awesome merch. Hit the lights. Sit back and enjoy. Liverpool Street Liverpool Street Station was opened in February 1874, and before it was even built, there were rumours that the area was haunted by a girl named Rebecca Griffiths, who could be heard screaming at night. Rebecca was supposedly a patient from the nearby Bethlehem Lunatic Asylum, and when she died, she was buried nearby without the coin she constantly held onto. To this day, it's thought she still haunts the area looking for the coin. But she is far from the only ghost. Another was supposedly caught on CCTV in 2000, at around 2 in the morning. A man wearing white overalls was seen by the line controller, who alerted the station supervisor, who then went to investigate. Unable to locate the man, he rang back the line controller, who told him he had been watching the monitor, and that the figure had been stood right next to him. The supervisor conducted a second search, and again he missed the man who showed on CCTV very close to him. Eventually he gave up, but as he walked back, he noticed a pair of white overalls left on the bench. To this day, both the line controller and the station supervisor have no doubt in their mind that a ghost was present. King's Cross St Pancras in 1987, a horrific fire swept through King's Cross Street Pancras Station, which is the biggest interchange station on the London Underground. The fire killed 31 people and injured 100, and the damage was so severe that part of the station had to be rebuilt and didn't reopen until 1989. Then in May 1998, a young woman aged around 25 was spotted kneeling at the side of the station's corridor she had her arms outstretched and was sobbing uncontrollably. A passerby stopped to see if the woman was okay, but as she started to speak to her, someone walked straight through the woman as if she wasn't there. The young woman then disappeared. This was a one-off incident, and the woman has never been seen since, but many have wondered, could she have been connected to the terrible fire in 1987? What do you think? Farringdon Station. If you visit Farringdon Station, it's not unusual to hear the screams of a young girl who is never laid to rest. Long before the station was built, the site was slumland, frequented by criminals and home to notorious gambling dens. One poor young girl unfortunately became a victim of the surroundings she lived in. Anne Naylor was a 13-year-old trainee hatmaker who lived with her mother. She was taken in as an apprentice by a mother and daughter who ran a local business. Anne was treated badly, she was tortured and starved, and after one horrific beating, she sadly died. The mother and daughter panicked and concealed her body in the attic, but as it started to decompose, they knew they would have to move her, so they cut her up into small pieces and started throwing her remains into the fireplace. However, the pair hadn't bargained for the foul odour of burning flesh, so they threw what was left of her body into an open sewer close to where Farringdon Station was later built. The corpse was found the following night, but the coroner ruled that the girl had not been murdered. The two women got away, and would have remained that way if they had not blurted out details of the murder a few years later, and they were soon tried and sentenced to death. The crime was largely forgotten about until Farringdon Station was built many years later, and it's said that if you stand on the platform at night, the screams of Anne Naylor can be heard echoing through the tunnels. Covent Garden Station Since the 1950s, people have claimed to have seen ghosts haunting Covent Garden Station, 
and this platform in particular is said to be frequented by the ghost of an actor called William Terrace. William was fatally stabbed on the Strand in 1897, and it's claimed he was a regular visitor to the old bakery that stood on the side before the station was built. William is often seen by staff dressed in a frock coat, hat, and gloves, pacing up and down the platform. However, when he started appearing in the staff restroom, many of the workers became so unsettled that they requested transfers to other stations. In 1995, Jack Hayden, the foreman of the station, was locking up after the last train. After making his final checks, all seemed quiet, when suddenly he saw a tall man wearing a grey suit and light-coloured gloves walking towards the stairs. He phoned the ticket office to let them know the man was coming up and to let him out. Jack then took the lift up, only to find a puzzled-looking clerk still waiting for the grey-suited man. The two men surged everywhere, but he was nowhere to be seen. Jack claims he saw the man several times after this, and he was also spotted by a 19-year-old porter called Victor Locker, and a foreman from nearby Leicester Square Station. It wasn't until the men looked through old Victorian photographs of people connected to the area that they realised they all must have witnessed the same man, William Terrace. Bethnal Green Station during World War II, Bethnal Green Station was used as an air raid shelter. It had 5,000 bunks and could hold up to 7,000 people. Despite it saving many lives during the Blitz, it was also the site of one of the worst civilian disasters of the war. On the night of March 3rd, 1943, as people scrambled to the station to shelter, a woman tripped while carrying a baby and a bundle of bedding. An elderly man then tripped over her, which caused others to fall over them, resulting in a horrific pileup of people. Adults fell helplessly on children, and people suffocated under the weight. In total, 173 people were crushed to death that night, and bodies were lined up on the streets above, sadly, 60 of which were children. The tragedy that happened at the station has led many to believe it's filled with paranormal energy. There have been numerous reports from the night staff that when the station is deserted, the sound of crying children can be heard, as well as the desperate calls of female voices. The sounds are described as people panicking, and some say it's the spirits of those who died in 1943. What do you think? So that's five most haunted London underground stations. Let me know if you've ever been to any of these and had any creepy encounters. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.